good morning from Tanadice Park. It's Easter Sunday and United need to rise from what are the gloomy depths of last place in the Cinch Premiership. United come into this game this afternoon knowing they've not had a league win since the 2nd of January. A run which simply has to change soon for the Tangerines to get themselves back in the mix. In the sense there has to be points gained from this one this afternoon. Results elsewhere meaning United drop to five adrift of Ross County at the bottom of the Sins Premiership table before these sides kick off this afternoon. How the United fans here at Town Knights would love to see them respond with a victory to lift themselves back to within touching distance of the Dingwall side. The United side, which has two changes from the 2 0 defeat at Ibrox last weekend. Charlie Mulgrew comes back in after missing the last few with injury. The United side, skippered by former Hibs man Stephen Fletcher. The other change is the one that was enforced in the first half at Ibrox last weekend. Pete Pollitt's injury forcing him off. And to the starting lineup comes Kai Fodringham, who replaced him in the first half last weekend. Hey guys, when you're ready, please. the visitors heads in their mint green change kit to get us underway. Bra setting up Sybil. Pitch. Fletcher! He does what he does! A crucial early goal for Dundee United and it's from the former Hitsman Classic cross, classic header, old style, old school, number nine finish. The first goal was excellent, it was everything we worked on during the week. We are trying to get Aziz into that left hand channel, put good deliveries in the box. We've kind of starved Stephen Fletcher of that quality service throughout the course of the season, but you know, you've got one of the best strikers in the league in there. If you put balls in the box, then you know, you'd fancy him nine times out of ten in an aerial battle with anybody. What work rate he puts in week in, week out, makes Sybil. I wanted to try and change the mindset of the players. You know, we've, we've been working extremely hard on the fitness levels of the players um, since I came in. And I feel in the last five weeks that we've now got them to a point where physically we can go and press teams a little bit higher. We can ask a little bit more of them. Um, in terms of their physical output and um, I think today there will be three or four individuals in the team who have um, you know, broke records in terms of distance covered today. The one added minute, David Monroe blows for half time. Hibs were there to be got at, and uh, I, I think we still showed that positive forward play, um, particularly there on Aziz's side. I thought we got a lot of joy there, and yeah, I mean, at one nil we had two brilliant chances, you know, to make it two and to make it three, and unfortunately, you know, Fletch and Nimi in those situations weren't able to to find the back of the net. The, the real frustration came from after Nimi's chance, you know, 20 seconds later, Hibs go up the park and all of a sudden we're level pegging again when I didn't think they deserved it. Hibs now bring that down, the shot goes in off the bar. And less than a minute after United really should have added another goal, it's Hibs who are now level. It's Nisbet who strikes, he's hit the woodwork. Fletcher's there. Goes down the penalty exit. Will 
fish holds his head in his hands. Step forward, Jamie McGraw. He kept his cool. And trapped his penalty into the bottom corner. And Dundee United are back on course for an absolutely vital victory. And once Jamie McGraw's got the ball in his hands, then very relaxed and I'm very composed because there's nobody I would want standing over the ball in that situation than Jimmy. Mulgrew wants his goalkeeper to come, has to hook over his shoulder, comes back now to Will Fish. Will Fish, can he get it down? He's hit the side netting. That is the final whistle. United pick up the three points. I think we, we showed to the to the supporters here, you know, that it means a hell of a lot to us. You know, and I think you can see by the celebrations from the players after the game that, you know, they are uh, they're all still fighting, they're all still pulling in the right direction and we're just delighted that we were able to send the fans home happy because it's for as, as long as the time has been for us and the players and the staff in there, uh, you know, it's been just as long for them to be able to celebrate a, a great win.